All right. Uh, sensitive topic, sexual abuse. Um, I want to share with you uh, why it's so important to heal it. It's so freaking important to heal it. And uh, I want to show you some steps that you can take and perspectives to help heal it and make you see uh, sexual abuse a lot differently. Uh, I've been lucky enough to, I shouldn't say lucky enough, but I've been able to work with many clients who've been through sexual abuse and it's crazy, it's crazy, crazy, crazy how much people have been through this. So you're not alone. Um, it's just a lot of people are just sitting in silent about it. And so let's talk about it. Hey Superstar, it's Gavin here from Wake Up Fulfilled. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a subconscious mind specialist. I help people reprogram their subconscious identity, the subconscious personality, so they can create the reality that they want automatically. And I just, you know, really love the subconscious mind because I know uh, it can change someone's life just like that. And I've been lucky enough to work with clients and, you know, have one-on-one -on -one sessions with them and completely get rid of their sexual abuse in just one session. And so I want to show you why it's important to actually heal from sexual abuse. Um, when it comes to traumas, they affect our whole lives. They affect the way you act, the way you talk, being able to say no. They affect things like you being motivated, following your dreams, being consistent. They affect how much money you can make. Um, and this is not just sexual abuse it's just abuse in general when you've been abused and you're holding on to a trauma even if you've forgotten about trauma it's affecting your whole life okay traumas are like mountains in terms of beliefs so whilst we might have a little belief like about money like money is the root of all evil or whatever it is having a trauma is like a thousand times, 10,000 times bigger than that belief. Trauma is like a mountain, Mount Everest, in terms of how it sabotages your life. And it's important to heal that. And um, when I'm working with my clients, they have been to, you know, psychiatrists, they've had therapy and they've been in years of therapy and all of this stuff, yet they haven't got over the, the thing. What they've been told is that they just need to think positive and focus on the future and all this stuff, but yet they've still got this trauma inside of them and it's affecting their whole lives. And so when they come to me and they come to work with me, one session, trauma's completely gone and they feel positive about it. They feel positive about the future. So I want to share with you some of the things that I do in one-on-one -on -one sessions with people and the perspective that I give them. The perspective that I give them is that this person who committed this particular act has been through certain conditioning, right? This person has experienced their own life, their own journey. Maybe they've been abused. Maybe they've been through some shit. Maybe they're mentally ill. Hmm, what about that one? Maybe they're mentally ill. If you believe in spirituality, maybe they got some bad energies and entities on them, controlling them, if you believe in that kind of stuff. Maybe their conditioning and their upbringing told them that that's completely normal, right? And so the act in which they committed, the abuse and the acts that they committed is a function of their conditioning, right? So we're not condemning their acts. We're not saying it's okay. We're not saying that's normal or natural. We're saying that this person's ego, their mind has been conditioned in a way that ended up in the result of them committing this particular act. Do I, I as an ego, need to take this personally? Does your ego need to take this personally? Your awareness already knows you're just pure love, right? So if you just step into that energy for a moment and you're aware of your ego, you're aware of your mind, does your ego need to take it 
as a personal hit. It doesn't need to. It can if it wants to, but it doesn't need to. It's choosing to take it personally because life has taught it that when something bad happens to me, there's something wrong with me. I did something wrong. Or you will hold on to hate and resentment about people, about life and all these things and all these energies. And so in that energy, you are creating your own poison. You're poisoning yourself through holding on to this trauma and this energy that you experience, which has nothing to do with you. And when I say it has nothing to do with you, it's nothing personal. You are pure love. You are pure love and your thoughts and emotions about what happened is the ego. Okay, I want you to understand there's a separation, okay? Your thoughts and your emotions about what happened, your memories about what happened is the ego. I'm not saying it's bad and I'm not saying it's good. I'm just saying it's, it is, it, it's what happened, right? And so you have the ability to transcend the ego and zoom out like bird's eye perspective on the situation. Situation happened, it exists, it's in my subconscious, it's in my mind. And I have the ability to become aware of it, almost like I'm looking at a TV screen. So if you wanna do this exercise, you can, or if you don't, you feel like it's too heavy right now, it's okay. But basically what you can do is you can see the situation because right now when you see it in your mind's eye, you probably see it very vividly and you see it as real and you see it through your own eyes. I want you to disassociate. I want you to disassociate from it and imagine it on a movie screen and you are watching the movie screen. You're just like, okay, you're watching the movie screen. And so now you're not in the movie, you're aware of the movie. Okay, you're, not, you're not in the situation, you're aware of the situation. You're looking at it. That should give you some relief right away as you do that. And what you can do is you can actually push it away even further, like see the movie screen going back and back and back and back and back into the distance. It may feel even better to you. Turn it black and white. Turn the screen black and white. Change the colors, change it to black and white. Maybe that makes you feel even better. So you see that, can you feel the difference? Comment below if you can see the difference or feel the difference, all right? So this is the part of the process that I take people through. But um, what I'm bringing to your awareness is that you are the awareness of this and I just showed you how to change how it feels just a few simple things in your mind to change change how it how it's perceived in your mind you see and so there are energies out there that want you to feel bad okay there are energies out there that want you to feel bad okay I want you to understand it's on a deep level right from your gut there are entities and energies out there that want you to feel bad and so the more you hold on to feeling bad the more you hold on to feeling these traumas they win you lose you're losing by holding on to this stuff They get energy from you feeling bad. And what are you gonna do about it? It's your right, it's your birthright to feel good. 
overcome this. I know you can. Do the work, see who you need to see, get what you need to get done to overcome this so you can feel good. So you can feel good about yourself, so you can get that confidence back, self-esteem, feeling strong. Male or female, don't care who's watching this, male or female, step into your power. You deserve to feel good. Do you know why you deserve to feel good? You might feel like I'm a bad person right now, but that's your ego. Your ego says I'm a bad person and this happened to me and I've been through this and whatever it is, right? It's not true. That's what the ego says. The ego says I'm ugly. I'm not good enough. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at anything. I don't have a purpose. And then da, 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 da. Ego. In all of this, how do you feel? Not good. So if you're feeling not good, are you not attracting situations that are not good? And so it reconfirms how you feel. And so now you believe how you feel is the right way to feel. And then you manifest more situations that are not good and you attract more not good. And it confirms that your feelings are right. This is how deep the trauma rabbit hole goes. And are you willing to step into your power and realize your awareness of this feeling bad? No, oh, my ego feels bad. My ego feels bad. You have to get into the point of saying that you might feel bad and associate with the emotion that you're feeling bad right now, right? Your thoughts might be negative or whatever it is. Know that you're aware of those things. That's not you. That is the ego. You've been trained to think that way. You are pure love. And your heart can be full again. Your heart can't be mended. What I mean by that is your heart can't be fixed. And what I mean by that is it never got destroyed in the first place. You are pure love. And so it's about using certain strategies. It's about deprogramming yourself so that there's no blocks around the heart. You see how that works? There's no energies, blocks, anything around the heart so the heart can now shine. When you look outside and there's clouds over the sun, you know the sun is still there. Is the sun broken? No, the sun's not broken. There's clouds just blocking the sun. The same goes for your heart. Your heart is still shining right now. I can promise you. But life has put a brick wall around it. So you can't see it, you can't feel it, you can't experience it because of trauma, because of pain. And all these traumas and pains are a function of other people's egos affecting your ego and vice versa. You see how that works? And so when it comes to sexual abuse, emotional abuse, mental abuse, any sort of abuse, know that this is the function of ego or egoism. You have so much power, I can tell you right now. And you can access more of it by healing yourself, healing your traumas, rewiring your mind in such a way that the past does not affect your future. So hopefully that perspective really helped you understand that these beings out here wanna take from you and are you gonna allow that to happen? Are you gonna fight for your life? It's your life. I don't care how young you are. I don't care how old you are. I don't care what background you have. Are you gonna fight for your life? It's your life. Life, can you feel the power behind that word? Life, life, this is your life, right? Take advantage of your life. You are here right now. Make the most of it. 
Yeah, you've been through some stuff, but you still have life. Show up to life. Show life what you're made of. Okay. I just want to add. I was sexually abused at age six. Okay. And it was from a female and she was in her teenage years. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what I was doing or whatever it is, but it happened. I think maybe twice. Okay. So I'm not just talking from my ass. I've been through it and processed it myself, but I've also helped loads of people just like that one session overcome trauma that they've been holding on to for years. So you don't have to suffer and you're not alone. There's so many people that go through this. It's unbelievable. I can't believe how many people actually experience this. There's a lot of people, a lot of people. And so understand that you are powerful and that you are love. And when you are love, you are almost like susceptible to being attacked. Yeah. Okay. And so these things happen and you don't have to make it affect you and infect you anymore. All right. Make the changes. So if you want my help, you want to work with my team, you want to reprogram yourself and get rid of these traumas that you've been holding on to for years, then you can get a free subconscious mind diagnosis session at neutralityshifting.com. There'll be a link in the description here on YouTube down there and up here on Instagram if you're on Instagram IGTV or Facebook you can get the link neutralityshifting.com and get your free subconscious diagnosis session uh, spots do fill up fast so make sure you, you grab that and uh, book yourself in for your free subconscious mind diagnosis session and I can 100% help you okay um, have no doubts about it what I got is really powerful. Okay. So I appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully you can feel the love. <laughs> and if not, I'm sending you love. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. And remember to keep learning, keep growing, keep expanding. And I'll see you in the next video.